Hello. I think we're recording. Anyway, happy Sunday, everybody. Woo, let's go. Two days into the game already. I'm still here. I've still not lost my mind. Look at this smile. Yay. We're playing some Black Ops 6 here today, folks. I played some a little bit yesterday. I played like for a couple hours, which I'm shocked. I, I'm surprised I didn't stroke out playing last night. Yesterday's lobbies were so fucking bad. It's a new day today. It's Sunday. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, wherever you may be. Or evening. Uh, just thought I'd get on here, play for a little bit. I'm actually going out in a bit. I got like a couple minutes to spare. Like 30 minutes or so. So I decided to get on. Maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. Last night I was playing some hardcore domination. I was kind of leveling up a little bit. I went up like 10 levels yesterday. I think we left off somewhere around 23 or something, 22. I don't know, somewhere around that ballpark. But we're level 33 today. Yes, I know I'm not a high ass level like many other people. Some people are already starting Prestige 3, which is fucking crazy. But then again, you guys already know, if I was a full time content creator, I still would not be Prestige 3. That is crazy. Like, I cannot, other, well, other than yesterday, I was able to play this game for more than an hour. You guys already know, when it comes to me playing video games nowadays, I can barely last an hour playing a video game because either one, I'm getting really bored, two, I'd rather be doing anything else but playing this game for a whole hour, or three, I don't know. There's many Call of Duty games nowadays are just, they all just blend in together, really with first person shooters, guys. I've been playing this franchise for the past 18 years, and this, for me, is just another Call of Duty game. It just feels exactly the same like the last other 17 games I played before it. So there's really nothing special for me when it comes to this game. And you guys are on like on defense of buying this game. If you guys are trying to get some nostalgia out of this game or whatever, if you think about it, it's just a reskinned Call of Duty game from Black Ops Cold War. It's literally just that game just reskinned for the Gulf War. That's really about it. Uh, still the same bullshit, same crappy map, same everything. And uh, the Prestige system is back. If you missed that from Black Ops Four, was the last one I had that so. It's been six years now since we've uh, lost that feature, and they brought it back. They should have never gotten rid of it. Anyways, I'm talking way too much here. Uh, let's go ahead and find a game here. Uh, we're playing... Let's play... I guess we'll go back into Hardpoint and see how that goes. Here we go. So I chose to play on Hardpoint or hardcore because when it comes to getting kills on hardcore it's a little bit easier you kind of level up faster you either get one shot kills from time to time just like with sniper rifles so you tend to level up a little bit more get a little bit more xp out of it and uh that's the only thing that you get other than that maps still play like shit oh we're playing on scud we're playing on scud yay blame truth's favorite map here we go is this a late game I think it's a late game. I'm not sure. Where's my audio at? I know I turned off the music. That music got really fucking annoying. Yeah, I'm getting like no fucking... What the hell? What's going on over here? Audio. Oh, game volume is all, all the way down. Like, what the... There we go. This is what I'm trying to turn down. There we go. Now it is way too loud. Alright, here we go. Been using this, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll call it the FAMAS. That's what really reminds me of. I've been using this gun for a little bit now, and I've gotten used to the way the recoil and everything. I've been destroying people from time to time. I've had some good games and some bad games from here and there, but I think this is my weapon of choice. 
but I'll continue using other weapons and stuff and see how the how those work. Oh, there was someone behind me the whole time. That's crazy. There's always someone like near me, dude, at all times. Like, it doesn't matter. Every single time of the day, there's someone near me. There's a guy over there head glitching like hell. <laughs> Get out, played fool. Oh, you see what I mean? There's always like someone behind me at all times. That makes no sense. No. Oh, I thought it was my teammate. I was like, what the hell? What did I do? Yeah, it is a terrible map to uh, play hardpoint or hardcore on since people are just camping like straight up bitches. I like how like I'm the only one that died from that. No one else. That's a great spawn. One thing's for sure that I've really noticed in this game is that people head glitch all the fucking time. You see that? Like, every single time. It's crazy. People head glitch more in this game than people do in actual wars. Like, at least people in actual war have a reason to fucking duck. You know what I mean? But in this game, people play like they literally have one life on the line. If they fucking die, it's fucking over. They're dead in real life. I realize people play so seriously. I mean, it's been like that forever now, for a while. I'd say as soon as, like, I'd say as soon as Infinite Warfare came out, people have started playing so fucking defensive. It's fucking crazy. Unlike me, I'm like probably the only person in this world that has like actual fucking balls to do something. All these people that play these games just act like it's a fucking real war. This Kali guy is starting to piss me off. Am I the only one getting killed by that, or uh, am I crazy? You see that spawn? You think I'm fucking crazy. You think I'm bullshitting you guys, but I'm not. I'm never going to bullshit you guys about this. You saw that spawn. I spawned literally in front of that guy, and he got a free headshot on me. Now they just got bent over and fucked. That's great. You got to love that. Look at that. Look at my corpse, dude. What the fuck? I, I don't know, man. I have no idea anymore.
Did you guys see that person? I, I didn't see anyone. That or I'm blind as shit. I, I don't know. A more blind person could probably see that fucking person better than I do. My eyesight is trash. What time is it? I want it, I want this to be over. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. Just end the game. I'm 11 and 24 right now. I'm out of here. You guys can have that game. I'm good. Uh, yeah, so that's how this game is going so far. Uh... Let me explain something to you guys real quick. When I play a game, I hate to be that person that just sits in one area. I like to move around and kind of get different angles. You know what I mean? I'm a rusher, basically. I like rushing. I like, I don't know, I like chaos, but I like controlled chaos. Not shipment. Especially shipment nowadays. It's complete AIDS. I would not recommend anyone play that map. I already played that map for the past fucking billions of years. I don't want to play that map anymore. I'm tired of that web, of that freaking map. Also, speaking of maps, I still have not played the Nuketown, Warhead, whatever the hell they call that on here. I, I still have not played that map. And I think it's in the Domination Rotation playlist, but I've never had it. I keep on, I keep on playing the same maps. I've not played that map yet for the past two days. This game has been out for two days as of me recording this. It's Sunday, freaking October 27th. Game came out Friday. I've still not played on that map. I've still not played a regular TDM, Domination, Hardpoint. I've still not played that map. And there's some other maps I still have not played. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the playlists and like the map rotations because I keep on playing the exact same fucking maps. I keep on playing Vorkuta. Well, that map in freaking hardcore is trash anyway. If you see that, just back out. It's fucking pointless. But when it comes to like playing in a different, in a different actual normal playlist like TDM, regular TDM or domination, it's fine. But playing in hardcore, you're just asking it spawn trapped. It's terrible. Don't play that map in hardcore. Uh, Scud that we just saw. That's that map is garbage. Uh, what other maps are there? There's um. Vault, I keep on playing on that one. Uh, Skyline. Those are the ones I can remember from the top of my head. But yeah, I keep on playing those exact same fucking maps over and over and over and over and over again. It's, it's kind of pissing me off at this point. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Oh yeah, and also if you're in the fence of trying to buy this game, I'm going to give you guys this uh, advice. One, I did not buy this game. I bought it, but I did not buy it, if that makes any sense. I'll just keep it at that. I got this game for free, but I did buy it. This is my second year in a row I've not bought a Call of Duty game. If I'm playing a new Call of Duty game, I have it, but I did not buy it. So I'm happy about that. Two, if you played Black Ops Cold War, you already played this game. It's just a reskin. It looks exactly the same. There's no soul. It's soulless. It's the same bullshit. If you played Modern Warfare 2019, you played Black Ops Cold War, if you played Black Ops Cold War, you played Vanguard. If you already played Vanguard, you already played Modern Warfare 2, 2022, Blame Truth's favorite game. And uh, if you played freaking Modern Warfare 3 last year, 2023, then uh, you already played this game. And if you already played this game, you probably already played next year's game, 2025 Call of Duty game. So I'm about to sneeze. We're good. So yeah, if I had to give this game a rating out of 10, as a person that's been playing this franchise for 18 years now, I'll give it a 2 out of 10. One, it doesn't surprise me. Two, I've seen everything I've needed to see. Three, it's the same gameplay. Nothing changes. 
other than the way that people play nowadays. Because back then, if you go back, I've said this multiple times before, if you go back and watch original Black Ops 1, Model for 3, I would not say Black Ops 2, that's where it got really sweaty and shitty. But anything before Black Ops 2, if you look at gameplay from back in the day, it was really rare to see people jump corners, freaking prone, jump, like, it's just all this crap that people hate nowadays. I personally hate it myself, too. It's really hard to see that back in the day. Even in World at War, people actually played casually back then. Back, Like, back then, people actually had fun playing video games. Now, it's just a fucking sweat fest. And I'll be honest, I probably can't keep up with these new kids nowadays playing these games. I, I, I'm too old. <laughs> Alright? I'm pushing 30 at this point. I've been playing this franchise for as long as many people have been alive playing this fucking franchise. It's... It gets tired some. I've seen it before. It's going to play the exact same way that next last year's Call of Duty played. It's going to be the same thing like last year's, last year's, last year's, last year's, last year. It's like last year's Lamborghini. It's not this year's Lamborghini. It's last year's Lamborghini. Except this year's Lamborghini. It's the same shit as last year's Lamborghini. That's the same thing for your next Toyota Corolla 2025-2026 model. It's going to be the same bullshit over and over and over and over again. Nothing fucking changes. Internally wise, things change. On the outside, probably there's still the same fucking body that they use. Like every other model in California. Whoops, I rusted all of them. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, go ahead and get off here and upload this and be on my way. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Take care. Be safe. Peace.